Hello, hello, people of the universe. My name is Victoria, and I welcome you to this reading today. So I have a message from Sirius today to Syrian starseeds, but also anyone else who is drawn to this video. So I have a big stack here, but before that, I want to put your attention on this card, the Sirius energy. And um, maybe you can notice that that is most certainly the silhouette of Jesus. So it said that he and many other ascended masters like him did come from Sirius and brought a lot of love and compassion to the world. What we can say about Syrians and Syrian starseeds is that they're most of the time very compassionate, very sensitive and emotional most likely and very empathetic they're most likely very connected to their own emotions and their intuition or they're supposed to be because of the dna and they have and the past life knowledge that they've gained most times it's said that syrian starseeds pick more creative artistic or helpful and healing kind of professions so if you don't know if you're a Syrian starseed, but you're hearing this and it's resonating with you, then maybe you are one of the Syrian starseeds. And regardless, maybe this reading is for you. Anyways, I'm going to start the reading and I'll lay out some of the cards off camera. So be right back. Okay, so a lot of cards, a lot of information over here. Uh, but before we start with the extra ones, I just want to, again, focus on the Sirius Energy one. Um, which is messenger and bringing harmony and balance, which is something that serious star seeds did come to do. They're here to bring harmony and balance to the world. That's why I said they're most likely very loving, empathetic. They definitely don't like fights. And they just kinda, kind of have this healing energy about them. Uh, so even if they're not necessarily healers, in some way, shape, or form, with just them being around people or the way that they, they uh, treat people it's healing others somehow so regardless of whether or not you're a Syrian starseed you are definitely here on a mission to bring harmony and balance to the planet earth now let's get on to the other part here um with earth pulsing and starkeeper i have a feeling that you guys are not staying very grounded. I'm getting this feeling of you not particularly connecting with Earth and not slowing down your normal daily day life so that you can make that kind of connection. It feels like you're probably kind of disconnected and definitely not grounded. Even if you're kind of trying to be you're not fully there and it might be because you're doing so many things and you're not allowing for any time to actually slow down and kind of assess things, think about things. We have here nourishment, body care and rest as well. So I do have a feeling that you're not doing enough of that. You need to take some time to actually rest, rest your mind and of course sleep, but even just lay in bed and see what thoughts are going through, think about some things. Also here, it's time in nature and uh, here she is, well, it's talking about a garden, but she's also in water and we have the season mintaka. If somehow you can get to some water, or just to, to spend some time in nature, I think that would benefit you a lot. But your message is definitely to slow down, calm down, stop thinking about things, stop overthinking things. Maybe you're staying too much in the clouds, looking too much ahead. Something that some people say is that Syrian star seeds tend to look forward. They don't like looking back on life. But I feel like you're looking too far forward. You're not living in the moment. And you need to kind of ground yourself. 
possibly in nature would be very helpful for you. There was like a similar message in the Agartha and Starseed reading that I did recently. So if you haven't seen that, maybe you want to go check it out. But they were also being called to spend more time in nature. And I guess that's a call for a lot of people, especially now. This is a timeless reading, but right now that I'm doing it, technically the situation with the virus hasn't fully ended in every part of the world. But most parts, you are able to go somewhere out in nature. And a lot of people during the lockdowns the past years kind of stopped doing that. And forgot that that's even a thing, probably. So, if you can, try to do that. Now, you guys, I think, have some gifts that you need to start unlocking. And these gifts might start unlocking when you start making more time. Again, this is like, this came up in the previous reading that I did as well, so really <laughs> funny and interesting that it's happening like this. But you guys kind of need to go more inward, do more reflection, and try to access the gifts that you had before, because you already have access to them. You just need to spend some time working on it and getting them. And they might come slowly, but they will come, and you'll eventually notice them. But you have a lot of gifts that you can share with people. And I think it's important because you're going to be helping people with these gifts. And you're you're really being called to go for it, to do this training. I, I've actually never pulled this card before, which I didn't even know it was in the deck. <laughs> so I was very surprised by it. But yeah, you're definitely being called. This card does not come out often, so this is your calling. This is your moment, really. You need to start questioning everything. I think you're... Of course, you need to stay grounded, but start questioning things in the world and why things are the way they are. Don't just go about your daily life thinking, yeah, this is normal, this is just how it is. It's not. <laughs> Most times it's not. So just start questioning things. And a lot of un unconsciousness will be brought to light. A lot of things will be brought to light to you. With the seas of Mintaka, uh, some of you might be Mintaka and Starseeds too, and Hadarian as well. <laughs> so this is a reading full of star beings and love from them, and messages from them. They're all sending you light and activations, so accept them. <laughs> and you got the love. If you are a Syrian Starseed, that means you're very loving and caring towards people. So since boundaries is here, make sure not to give it to the wrong people and give some of that to yourself. Give some of that love to yourself. You need to nurture yourself. Care for your body and your health while you're lifting the veil. Start questioning, why am I doing this? Why do people do this? Is this the right way? Is this not the right way? Is this the way for me? And why is this like that? And so on. Look within. You already have the answers within. Your intuition will tell you what the right thing to do is. But yeah, I'm sure you have a lot more gifts than just um, intuition in there. Because you're a Syrian starseed, most likely. Oops. Okay. Okay, I feel like some of you might start freaking out in a way because you're getting to stay calm and just trust. You might be tested by some people, not intentionally probably, <laughs> because of how they're acting towards you and with you. So you'll feel like this is really testing your patience and maybe it'll make you angry. You need to remember that they're doing this for a reason too. They're reacting in this way for a reason. And it's not always a simple answer. I'm getting also the feeling that some of you are attracting 
people who are not on the same level as you, on the same vibration or, yeah, and you've probably been attracting them your whole life. And part of that could be because they see and feel the light in you and the love and the power. And they they want a piece of that. They either want to be like you or they want to lower you down to their standards. Uh, different people will have different people in different situations for all of this. But I have a feeling that if you guys try to see the good and the love in yourself and trust yourself truly and see yourself for who, for who you really are, you know, lift the veil and see the un unconscious and go within, trust your intuition, when you start doing that, you're going to attract a lot of people who are more like you. Because right now, you're still not attracting the right type of people. And you really need to be honest with everyone and speak the truth because when you do, you will attract the right kind of people and the people who you need to be and who are gonna be, let's say, on the same level as you. Because right now, maybe you're unhappy because you're, you're the people you're communicating with are just not, you know, who you're supposed to be communicating with or who's the best for you to communicate with. We have life force energy as well here. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. Some of you might notice this soon. This is very related to the sacral chakra. Um, so when you do activate it, you'll get a lot of creativity and passion towards things. And you'll just get this drive. Very you know, wands energy, fire energy. You really want to go for some things, certain things that you find out. Maybe when you hear the calling, you're going to be able to really go for it. You'll get the energy, you'll be provided with it because you need to do this. This is, you know, what you need to be doing. Oh, well, nurture yourself, gather your strengths. Yeah, just right next to this. Water your garden. Perfect. Listen for a message. I was just talking about a message. You know, you're being called. You're going to get a message. An enlightenment. See the divine in everyone. This is the same kind of message as faith, I think. You guys have so much light. Have so much drive. And I think right now you're not putting it in the right thing exactly. Not on the right people or the right job or the right whatever you're doing in your spare time. And you need to direct it towards something else and you will be getting messages. Probably very clear messages on what you're supposed to be doing. You'll just know. Maybe one day you're going to wake up and you'll be like, oh, maybe I should do this. And then you'll start doing it and you'll see, oh, this is great. I'm going to keep doing it. But for sure, enlightenment is coming to you. Very soon it's coming to you, Syrian starseeds and non-Syrian starseeds who are watching this. <laughs> so what you really need to do now is kind of nurture yourself and gather your strengths instead of putting your life and your drive and passion and energy into something that is ultimately not furthering your life, furthering your you and your mission, not helping you in any way. Just take the time to rest. Maybe sleep more if you need to. Take some naps or take some take some time to meditate. Or just go out in nature. That was a big thing for you. Nature. We have a lot of nature here in these as well. I mean, if you can, I would really suggest just going to the beach if you are able to. And just laying on the sand or 
rocks, whatever kind of beach you have. And enjoying the sun, taking it in. Or just find a sunny spot in uh, your house and if you have a garden, whatever you have. Just so you can sunbathe a bit. And either... <laughs> try not to fall asleep, of course, but... <laughs> Try to relax while you're doing that. Don't be on your phone, don't be playing games or something. Ultimately, those are not furthering your life in any way, most likely. Mm. Let's see what we have here. Three of Wands looking out. Ooh. Okay, Three of Pentacles right underneath Three of Wands. And the sun. Since we're getting the three, I feel like it's a very lucky number. And um, it it is about, many times, about doing something with others. So maybe you guys need to find the right people to do this with, whatever you'll be doing. Find your crowd. Find your partners. <laughs> romantic or business with the three of wands here though you're really looking out for something like i was saying before you're it feels like you guys are living too much in the future and yes that's nice and all planning is nice but you need to kind of start this because maybe you're procrastinating a bit on starting whatever this is maybe you just don't know how to start it or something but um one of the one of the messages for that is to try to find like-minded individuals and uh, do it with them or it's it's always nicer and easier in when you're doing something in a group even meditations group meditations are said to be very powerful so if you wanted to do it with someone else just ask someone and maybe they'll be willing to meditate with you who knows but it could be something else of course mm, also with the ace of pentacles reversed i'm getting some kind of feeling that for you guys right now since you're waiting for the signs and everything and you have some issues you need to work through first and you need to do some internal work first you are not supposed to start putting whatever this is into a physical form yet you're supposed to work on yourself and everything that i mentioned before and work on your happiness because when when you do that that's when you'll be able to look forward and well your future will come to you you don't even need to plan it you don't need to think about it too much it'll just come to you I'm gonna get some more cards out, see if anything comes out for you from the Syrians. But this message is very, very nice already. Very beautiful. Oh. Oh, okay. Reversed five of swords with the devil You guys really are Looking back or forward at something or someone Someone who was not very good to you or some situation that was not good to you. Well, you're bound by it right now Maybe you feel defeated by this Whatever it is you're chained to something and you can't escape it's like maybe you're addicted to something and that's really um, hindering you in your whole journey. And because of this thing that you're chained by, maybe addicted by, or this person who's so toxic and is not letting you leave, they're really hurting your chances here. Uh, funny because I got these cards as well <laughs> in the Agarth and the Starseed reading <laughs> yeah but you, you guys will persevere through this 
you get through it, you have the life force energy and you focus it on the right things, your compassion and love, it will be recognized by the right people when you meet the right people because right now you're probably not around the right people. Yeah, I can see some fights with people and you're kind of acting before thinking. So you need to kind of slow down and kind of listen to your heart. Get your emotions in check. Otherwise, you're just going to keep fighting with them and it's not going to go well. But I think you'll be able to get through this and you'll be able to get your emotions in check. You won't be chained by this devil anymore and people aren't going to be able to annoy you anymore. And you're not going to fight with them. <laughs> Again, something that came out in the Agarthan <laughs> I think you're gonna learn how to not do this, how to get through this. You're, and a part of learning it is inside you. You already know how to do it, just follow your intuition. Just take when, when if you're angry or anything, or you feel like you want to continue with your addiction, just take a moment and breathe and think, do I really need to do this? No, you probably don't. <laughs> I'm guessing you guys don't. Mm. You'll get what you deserve. Whatever you choose. So hopefully you choose the better option. The higher option. And you'll get to receive what you gave to others as well. If you were very compassionate, loving and helpful to people, but they didn't get it and they were taking advantage of you, um, you're gonna get what you were missing. But most likely with other people and you need to find those other people and you need to open your heart to them. Or just go on this journey, go on this um, inner journey. Follow your intuition. Start trusting your intuition. I don't think you're trusting yourself fully now. You're probably still questioning a lot of stuff. If you get some kind of thoughts or something, you're like, mm, maybe that's just me thinking that. Or you're ex making excuses because of all the conditioning you've had throughout your life that, you know, we're just making stuff up and this isn't real. But you can get through this and it will be a crazy big change for you because you're most likely a Syrian starseed and you have so much light and love and energy and just everything and you truly get what you're deserving whether that's money or emotional support or anything really that you are missing well that is a beautiful end to everything <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you watched this far and i hope you enjoyed it again um, maybe you'd like to check out my garth and starseed reading if you haven't yet or maybe my future readings if you're watching this way in the future <laughs> whatever the case if you liked it, please leave a like and definitely leave me a comment and tell me what you think about this reading, whether you think you're a Syrian starseed or not, whether you've even heard about starseeds or Syrians before. And yeah, hope you have an amazing day. Bye bye.